hello guys welcome back to our channel and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to transfer your ELA fund to your bank account and this is going to be a little bit brief because we have done something similar to this in the past when we did for wheels to proceed with this process of swapping your ELA and taking it to your bank account we are starting all the way here in the trust wallet before we proceed, I want to point out some specific things that you need to take note of. And one of them is your wallet must be set to the Polygon network if your ELA is Polygon ELA. And secondly, you must have the ELA you wish to swap inside your wallet. Then thirdly, you need to have some Matic to pay transaction fees. So those are the requirements that you need to do this swap and take this currency straight to your bank account if there is liquidity as at the time you are swapping so let's begin in this tutorial we'll be interacting more with the dab if you look below the screen here you see dabs so you click on dabs and then here in the dabs you will need to interact with quick swap i will drop the link of quick swap under the description of this video so that you can easily get access to it and go ahead with your transactions so as you can see now we are locked into quick swap and let me still point out some certain things here for you because one you need to make sure your wallet is connected and if it's connected you see the last figures of your wallet address will be showing where that arrow is pointing and then you make sure that your wallet is on this first section which is the swap after which you need to take note of this matic you see here and select token those are the two areas we'll be interacting with but for this tutorial i've told you initially that you need to have matic in your wallet and so we'll be changing that matic to USDT so we'll click here and then we would like to select USDT as the token we want to interact with now we can switch it so that USDT is down and what we want to get up there is Ella so what you need now is a contract address of Ella to do your swap so we'll be heading straight to our telegram where we'll go and get the contract address of Ella to proceed with this transaction. So now that we are in our Telegram group, you need to click on this area where you see the slash there. And after clicking, you'll see options coming up. You'll see contract, you'll see price, and other things coming up, like you can see now. If you look at it, you see all the information is there. You need help, price, contract, chart, info. In this area, you can get the price of any token you want to look for. Whether BTC or any token. What you do is just type in price and then you type in BTC and click go. Give it some seconds. And you see the price of BTC is reflecting here live. You can as well view the chart of BTC as at the time we are doing this transaction. But in today's video, we are not dealing with this. We want contract address for Ella. So if you click on the slash, you see all the information popping up here are informations of Ella. So we click on contract. And you can see the contract of Ella is popping up instantly. So what you do is you copy it and then you paste it back there. You now highlight it. We want to pick only the contract. So we are going to cut out the contract address. And then you clean up. That is what we want for now on this Telegram group. So do well to join this group. It will be of benefit to you to check your currencies, to check your tokens in real time, what the price is all about. So we'll head back to our Trust Wallet DAP. So now that we are back to the DAP, you click on Select Token and you can now add 
the contract address of Elade and click on the arrow below. If you look below here, you will see Ella already searching here. So this is what we want. So we'll click on Ella and Ella will be showing up here as the token we are looking for. So now we want to swap between Ella and the USDT. After which we have a video we have made on how to do arbitrage on the Binance. We will link up that video below the description of this video as well. That video will give you a clear example step by step on how you can withdraw your USDT after the swap to your bank account through the P2P system. So now you look here, you will see 50% and you see max. This request is in respect of the swap you want to do. So let's say we are clicking 50% of what we have and that's what is showing us here. Our balance is 402 and we are taking 50% of it to swap and this is the USDT value of our swap as at the time we are doing this transaction. So that being done, you come down to monitor some things here. You can see the spillage tolerance. You can see the minimum of what you get. You can see the price impact of this transaction. And then you see a very powerful button here. I call it Approve Ella. The Approve button in your Trust Wallet is a very important button because when once you click on that button, you have given this website the privilege to use the funds you are approving. They don't need your permission again to do that. The funds can be taken. So if you get to a scam website and you approve, just forget about it. So be mindful when you are transacting and you see this approve. It's a powerful button there. So now that we have done all these entries and we are sure that what we, are, what we want to swap is okay, we have to give approval. So we click on approve Ella. You have noticed the smart contract call here and the system has gone to work to tell you that this is the network fees will take about this value of matter. And uh, your wallet is connected and that is what they are going to charge you. You see the instructions below here that you do not have enough polygon matic to cover network fees and so there's a request here say top up polygon matic so this transaction is going to end here because we are not topping up polygon matic now but if you want to do this swap to transfer your ella to your bank account you need to fund the polygon matic and when you get to this place it will take you to where you'll be able to continue with your transaction and the value of the USDT after the transaction should reflect in your trust wallet. Then your trust wallet, you'll be able to transfer what you have from your trust wallet to any of your exchanges where you can do P2P and that money is transferred to your bank account. And that's why I say watch the video that is linked below this video and you'll be able to understand how to do arbitrage, step-by-step -step arbitrage. And you will be able to transfer your USDT that you have swapped straight to your bank account. We will end the tutorial here because we can't go further than this. Maybe in subsequent times, when we do this transaction, we will come and link up that video with this to show a comprehensive mode of withdrawal. But for now, We'll end the video here and we hope this helps you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying by and see you in our next video. Bye for now.